Let's get started. Preparing for rendering. Create a 2D organic growth shape. Changing the noise size from 3 to 1 makes the radius output singular. A new attribute called radius has been created. Add limit pop and set the upper and lower limits for radius. Pressing the 1 key is set to reset the feedback POP. Delete the existing code, then we write the code here. Here's the full code. I apologize, but since I'm not an expert in GLSL pop, I will omit a detailed explanation. The purpose of this code is to perform a simulation. Calculate repulsion forces, prevent each point from colliding with neighboring points, and update their positions accordingly. This is a section-by-section -section explanation of the code written in GLSL POP. Absolute time elapsed between start of previous and current frame. Enter P and radius and output attribute. Drag and drop GLSL pop onto feedback POP. Now, we are able to obtain a 2D organic growth shape. Stuck the 2D organic growth shapes. Drag and drop pop onto feedback POP. It gradually moves forward along the Z-axis. As before, pressing the 1 key will reset the feedback POP.
Now, we can stack the 2D organic growth shapes. Why we can stack using the feedback POP. This is the DAT table for each frame. When a point pop at the origin is moved by one along the z-axis using a transform pop. Creating a loop like the one introduced just before. This is the concept behind it. Place a sphere pop at each point. To lighten the processing, add a line resample pop to reduce the number of points. For the same reason, hide the preview. Add a ramp top to apply gradient colors to the object. Use a lookup texture pop to apply the ramp top colors to the object. Adjust the camera and light settings. After applying some rendering settings, 